Today we're going to talk about the successor of the G602. We have here something, well, an advanced model, or is it? Well, we're going to test that out. This is the Logitech G604 Lightspeed Gaming Mouse. And this mouse is more suitable for MMOs, uh, MOBA and well of course you could play uh, FPS, uh, Battle Royale and that kind of stuff. But it has 12, am I correct? I think it is 15, sorry I missed 3 buttons. It has 15 programmable buttons and let's unbox it. Uh, yeah, because this one has the hero optical sensor as well. Now, this is the difference. This is the first difference from the 602 apart from the actual design, of course. Uh, we have the normal packaging from Logitech. We have the all the papers and what do we have here? Thank you for choosing Logitech G. Okay, I think that's now going with every single uh, Logitech product. And we have the cable. And you get one double A battery. Uh, let's check the mouse. Now the mouse, as I said, it has a completely different design. I used the G602 for about two years, most likely. I can't remember uh, exactly. And I really loved the mouse. It was a completely uh, something different, even though I didn't use it for for MMO or uh, for MOBA games. Uh, it was really outstanding and I never had a single problem using that mouse. And when I say single problem, I heard some people having problems with 602 when it comes to connectivity on it. But, and I have to mention that wasn't a review sample. That was the mouse that I actually bought for myself used it and never had a single connectivity issue and it didn't even have light speed. So when you add light speed to Logitech peripherals, that means much, much better connectivity. But let's check out how this mouse is basically open. You just pop out the backside. You have the uh, wireless connector. You have the G604 uh, here written on it. I really actually love how they're doing the receivers now with the actual name tags of the products so basically if you have more logitech products you can easily uh, notice which one is which and after placing the battery inside that's all uh, i have to admit there's a slight difference between dg604 and basically almost any other mouse the bottom pads are actually lifted from the mouse for I think one half a millimeter or one millimeter something like that and you have the on and off switch at the bottom as well when it comes to connectivity and pairing you have here the indication light that shows you that you're not connected uh, there's also a light sync button most likely to connect directly to the to find the receiver you have this is the switch for the scroll you don't have that max speed scroll this is a standard and then you have a standard fast scrolling that ultra speed you have the plus minus for adjusting the dpi you don't have a special indication light for the dpi you have only when you press the buttons it changes colors here so yellow white uh, orange pink and that is basically it so it has four memories for the dpi switch On the left side you have the thumb rest, if you want to call it like that, and above that you have six buttons. Now apart from the G602 these buttons have a bit different way, they're a bit popped out so when you actually need to use them, let me just see, so when you actually need to use them they're actually maybe even easier accessible. Uh, I can't relate to the G602 since I never used those buttons at all, but 
talking about these buttons they are kind of accessible because they have uh, separation from each and they're really pointed out uh, as you can see in the pictures now the shape is quite right it's uh, I would say it's ergonomical because my whole hand fits in a palm position it's not like the claw grip even though you could use it as a claw grip but my whole hand fits uh, exactly on the mouse without a single problem so that is something you might want to know when choosing since my hand from bottom of the palm until the top of the middle finger is 19 centimeters and you can see how it goes so I play a bit as some of you also do with the bottom palm on the table and this is it it's complete palm so it's a bit bigger mouse I have to admit I am a bit slight disappointed there is no at least a logo from Logitech that is RGB or something that you can you know adjust with your colors or something that you wish but apart from that I really like the design I love the colors and you have the whole thumb rest the lower part the top part around the G logo and the indication light and the side right part is some sort of a rubberish material that kind of keeps gives a much better grip than just a standard plastic and it does give a better feel of also a quality as well now the back side is connected with three magnets so basically I don't know if this could be popped out easily but honestly I don't think you will ever do that you know pop up the unless you just crash it on the table or something like that but uh, all in all it's fairly actually easy to access it I mean it would be much better to place the battery underneath but then you have a different construction of the mouse and you won't get such a clear bottom of the mouse when we talk about 15 programmable buttons we have the left and right click you have the middle scroll click left and right scroll click you have the well, I don't know if this is programmable, the scroll switch, because it's directly connected to the scroll. So I won't take that into consideration. You have the button here that is for the light speed. You have here uh, two additional buttons for the DPI adjustment. And you have six more buttons here near your thumb. When it comes to comparison to the old G602, I would say that the G604 kind of a bit fits personally personally me fits better because uh, i had to adjust a while on the g602 and when i did it was perfect but uh it was strange a bit you know moving from g300 to g602 it's completely di different design 300 was symmetrical 602 is ergonomical 604 is also ergonomical but it's a bit I would say it's a bit lower and I mean it fits very nice in your palm without a doubt the weight of the mouse is 135 grams which kind of doesn't put the mouse in the lower category when it comes to uh, weights but when we talk about battery life we have something which is kind of outstanding so they mentioned that as a non-stop gaming 240 hours with one double a battery and they stated that with the bluetooth connection you can use this mouse mouse for five and a half months so this is kind of interesting facts uh, unfortunately i don't have time for testing the exact amount of battery life with bluetooth connectivity but it's really cool you know to have the bluetooth as well as the connection standard Wi-Fi and also I forgot to mention you have the uh, this additional cable that extends your range even though I mean with wireless and Bluetooth you can basically do anything but okay nevertheless so definitely my suggestion if you're trying to change your mouse for MMO or MOBA as I said for FPS you can always find another mouse which doesn't have this uh, many buttons but it doesn't mean you can't use it for those games I mean if you're playing all the genres that are up there 
that are out there you could basically just get this mouse and it will cover everything without a doubt so guys thank you for watching this video it was a kind of short introduction to the g602 you've seen some a uh, bit gameplay movement and stuff like that you've seen all the buttons and of course the click sound as well so thank you for watching see you next time guys in the new video don't forget to like and subscribe for future ones and of course i mean that bell button really does ring a bell when a new video is out. So thanks and bye bye.